Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding the measure of complementary angles. So we have two angles are complementary and the measure of their angles are in the ratio 1 to 2. And we need to find the measure of both angles. So with word problems in general, you always want to underline the most important piece of information. So we know that these two angles are complementary and we know that their measures are in the ratio of 1 to 2. So what this allows us to do is when we're naming these angles, let's say we call the first angle angle 1, we could set that angle equal to x. And now the second angle, all we know is that the ratio of these two angles is 1 to 2. So what that tells us, if the first angle is x, the second angle we could call 2x. And now where did I come up with this expression 2x? Well, if we set them in fraction form, we have x over 2x. Notice how we could call the numerator 1x, and now x over x will cancel, bringing us right back to 1 over 2, which is the ratio 1 to 2. So this is how we know we could set the first angle to be x and the second angle to be 2x. But now we need to think, what does it mean for two angles to be complementary? Two angles are complementary if they sum to 90 degrees. So now what we could do is, we could set up, we have angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. But now we're going to make a substitution. We set angle 1 equal to x, and we set angle 2 equal to 2x. So now we have x plus 2x is equal to 90 degrees. So now 1x plus 2x is 3x. So we have 3x equals 90 degrees. And now finally to solve for x, we divide both sides by 3. And now 3 divided by 3 cancels. And we have x is equal to 30 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is 30 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is 2 times x. But we know we just found x to be 30 degrees. So we have 2 times 30 degrees, which gives us 60 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is 60 degrees. And if you have time on a test, it's a good idea to check that your angles are in fact complementary. So we add, we have 30 degrees plus 60 degrees is 90 degrees. So that's one check. And the second check, the ratio of the angles is 1 to 2. So when we set the measure of both angles, we'll say we're setting 30 over 60. As a fraction, this reduces to 1 half. Notice the common zeros cross off. And then 3 over 6 reduces to 1 half, which sends us right back to that ratio 1 to 2. So we have our final answer. The first angle is 30 degrees, and the second angle is 60 degrees. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on complementary angles. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.